you everywhere you go. Some people do that pretty much, right? With around here, people carry backpacks. Uh, and that backpack was filled with a, a lot of big, heavy rocks. And you never took it off. And you went out, went through all your day carrying that backpack. Uh, number one, how, how's it going to affect you? You're going to be tired, right? So imagine if you would, when it came time for you to lay down for rest, you didn't take that backpack off. You tried to sleep with that backpack still there. How good of rest would you get? Not too good. Not too good, right? <clears throat> so as uh, Kylie's given us a message about the importance of rest, a big part of that for us is to be able to take the backpack off. Uh, and who do we give the backpack to? Jesus. Jesus. Uh, and in that backpack are oftentimes some heavy things, some guilt, some sadness, some anger, some grudges we've long carried, some shame that we're holding on to. And Jesus says, give it to me. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy and weighed down, and I will give you what? Rest. Rest. Amen. So that's why we pause every week for this time of going to God and confessing. Would you bow with me for a moment of silent personal prayer, and then we shall join together in the prayer this printed. Let us pray together. Look upon us, loving Savior. Sift our thoughts and assess our feelings. Deal firmly with those things that have inhibited our love and diverted our energies. Loving God, whatever you see in us as self-righteous, make humble, as twisted, straightened, as heartless, softened. As, as fruitless, fruitless prune, as, as infected cleanse. Flood your, your relentless spirit through our whole being, sweeping away guilt and its lethargy. And by the saving grace of Christ Jesus, heal the hidden springs of our personality. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers before we get around to asking them. And for doing much more than we ask or think. Through your Son, our Savior, we pray. Amen. In Christ Jesus, we are radically, a radically renewed community. Old things are done away with. All things become new. We are agents of grace and reconciliation. With every step or stumble, Christ will be with us. The riches of his grace are immeasurable. Thanks be to God. So our second hymn today.